This video is about the harmatan. It's an amazing phenomena in Africa. So what exactly is a harmatan? The harmatan is a dry dusty wind. The harmatan blows in the south of the Sahara to the Gulf of Guinea. The wind direction is mainly northeast. With that it's a trade wind. The harmatan is a seasonal wind. It blows from November to March. Well, let's take a look at some properties of the harmatan. The harmatan produces very dry air with a low relative humidity of less than 10%. The temperature of the air can vary from night to day. At night it can be quite cool from 9 to 20 degrees Celsius. And at day it is always around or above 30 degrees Celsius. The dry season in West Africa runs from November to March. Well, here you can see a picture that I took myself in Accra, the capital of Ghana, on a nice February day. What you can see is a sort of grey sky. It's very hazy and we call this haze the Harmatan haze. And at that day, sadly, the sun was hardly visible because of all the particles that were in the air. When the wind in the Sahara blows over open desert plains, it can take a lot of sand from the ground. The very small dust particles with a size of 0.5 to 10 micrometers come into a suspension in the air. And then they can be transported over great distances by this wind and even up to thousands of kilometers. When the air movement is strong enough, it can lead to huge sand and dust storms. In the winter months, there is a lot of dust in the air in West Africa because of the harmatan. This makes the environment quite hazy. Sometimes the sunlight is even blocked by the harmatan haze. So how does the harmatan develop? How is it formed? What's its origin? If you look at the Earth's wind systems, a harmatan winds are located in a Hadley cell. This is an atmospheric circulation cell in the tropics between the equator and the 30 degrees north and south latitude. There is a low pressure area at the equator. Warm, moist air rises up to the tropopause, where it brings a lot of precipitation and therefore a tropical climate prevails. This is part of the ITCZ, the Intertropical Convergence Zone. The cool air begins to flow towards the poles high in the troposphere. At a latitude of 30 degrees, it starts to descend. There is a high pressure area at this point, at this latitude. Due to the decreasing air movement, we get dry and warm weather. Conditions here are ideally for a desert climate. The very warm dry air then flows along the Earth's surface back to the low pressure region at the equator. These dry winds are called trade winds and blow from the northeasterly direction in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere the winds are southeast. In West Africa this trade wind is called Harmatam. Due to the change of the seasons the ICTZ moves every year from a winter position to a summer position and back again. The Hadley cell thus also moves with the sun. In January and March we are dealing with a high pressure area over the Sahara. These are ideal conditions for the Hamatan in West Africa. During this period it's very dry and warm in West Africa with little to no precipitation. In June and September there is a huge high pressure area around the Azores High. The Hadley cell has moved to a northern position together with ICTZ. For West Africa that means a lot of wet and warm tropical weather. The Harmatan then only blows east to the heart of the Sahara itself. Let's take a look at the negative side effects of the Harmatan. A strongly persistent Harmatan can destroy crops due to the dust layer on the leaves and the lack of rainfall which can cause farmers in the Sahel zone to encounter massive crop failures. In some West African countries, the high amount of dust in the air limits visibility and the aviation industry can be severely affected by the harmaton. Every year airline flights are cancelled because of this. It's a huge cost of expense. 
The dust also contains microbes and it can infect the food. There are all kinds of um, uh, health problems occurring with the people that uh, are experiencing the hamatan. Also asthmatic complaints can, uh, can be there and eyes and lips can be very irritated by the, the sense. But even worse, uh, this disease such as men meningitis can also spread. The menococcus is absorbed more easily into the blood by the dust, which can lead to life-threatening situations. So which countries are actually dealing with the harmata? At this uh, map you see the dark blue uh, red areas are affected by heavily dust. And uh, you see not every country is as heavily as affected, mostly West African countries, but also some Sahara countries. Okay, let's take a look which countries these are exactly. First we see Niger, Nigeria, Chad, Benin, Cameroon, Togo, Burkina Faso, Mali, Ghana and Ivory Coast. Well, the Harmattan is not the only wind in Africa. There are a lot of uh, winds. So let's take a look at the major winds in the African continent and the local names for these winds. The Harmattan is thus a northeastern trade wind blowing from the southern Sahara towards the Gulf of Guinea. The Sirocco is a hot, extremely dry southern wind that brings heat and dust from Algeria and Tunisia to the Mediterranean and southern Europe. If the weather conditions are favorable, this red dust can also reach northern parts like Netherlands and Scandinavia. The Ghibli is a hot, extremely dry south wind that blows from Libya towards Greece. The Kamsin is a hot, extremely dry south wind that brings heat and dust and sand to the Levant and the Arabian Peninsula. Haboobs are large sandstorms in Sudan and South Sudan that do not really have a pre predominant wind direction. The Cape Doctor is a strong dry, dry southeasterly wind in South Africa and it brings very good weather to Cape Town. Elevanter is a strong warm easterly wind through the Strait of Gibraltar that can cause fog and cloud development and even heavy showers in this area. So if you want to learn more about this, I have created an, uh, an exercise for you. It's about winds of Africa, also the Harmattan. And of course you can play this uh, quiz yourself. You can find the link to this quiz in the description of this video. Okay, I'm gonna end this video with some nice pictures of some harmatans and sandstorms. I wish you a lot of fun and learning experience and I'll see you around in the next video.